In today's episode of Combo Mods, I sit in a hot van for two hours and almost electrocute myself. If I touch this against there, whoa, fuck me. So that I can replace this chunky Vauxhall brick stereo with a nice new single DIN head unit. Now I want to give a shout out to rudymods.co.uk for sorting me out a good deal on this stereo. The link to those guys is in the description, so go ahead and click that and check out their shop. Let's crack on and get this head unit fitted to the van. Okay, so first thing is to remove the old stereo and for that you will probably need some keys like this. Could probably make your own out of uh, a thick wire coat hanger or something, but um, I really couldn't be bothered. So I just went and bought them. Basically they slot into these little holes there. They're a bit of a bugger to get in fully. There we go. Once they're in like that, right, there we go. Now we pull the two keys to the side and we can slot the radio out. Hang on, I'm trying to hold the camera in my teeth. There we go. So then what you'll find behind there is the harness which goes into the back of the stereo and the aerial. So unclip the aerial, going to need an adapter for that and then you unclip the harness at the back by pushing in at the sides and lifting this little clip up and that pulls out like that. And there we have the factory stereo, chuck that down there. Okay, so now we're left with the harness which Vauxhall decided to make, or Blaupunkt and Vauxhall conspired to make that unfittable with anything else so you need an adapter harness which I have here okay so what you have to do is remove the factory um, cage that holds the uh, stereo in place and what that is, I don't know if you can see there's a bit too bright in here for this but there are tabs which are bent in uh, six of those but right at the back I don't know if you can see but there's a little Torx screw and that's a Torx 20 and that needs to be undone before you can then take the cage out by bending up these tabs and pulling it out Okay, so first of all I'm going to connect the harness up just to make sure that the stereo works okay before I fit it into the gap. Inside here on the pins, they don't quite match up with the pins that are on the factory harness. So what I had to do, there was only one, but the um, this yellow wire, the 12 volt battery wire, actually went to a socket on the harness, the new harness, that matched up to an empty hole on the factory harness. It needed to be in the uh, socket up from there, so I had to basically gently remove one of these um, pins here. Uh, they're on kind of a barb, so I poked a little um, a little tiny screwdriver down in there and just pushed back the barb pins which then enabled me to pull out the wire like that. Now you can see where the, I've, po I've pushed the barb in there which then allowed me to put it into the correct socket to match up with this red wire here. That is the 12 volt battery wire which is supposed to go to this 12 volt battery wire 
on the harness. Right, so now I've got this out, I've just pulled the barb back a bit so that it would work. So that it will stick back in. And now I'm going to find the correct socket here to push it through and in. And then you can see that the barb's locked itself in now. doesn't matter if it isn't entirely secure because once you lock it into this harness here it, um, it will keep it secure but obviously you want to get the barb locked in if possible because that's going to be the uh, safest option and then once you've done that we then need to route this wire to an ignition source which just so happens to be in the cigarette lighter down here so I've pulled out the cigarette lighter, I just stuck my finger in there and wiggled it until this came out. Uh, black wire is the 12 volt and the brown wire is the ground. So by testing with this wire, just touching that against there and turning on the ignition, the radios come on. So I know that we're on the right lines with that. Let me just... Uh, Okay, so the ignition's on. If I touch this against there, whoa, fuck me. Okay, so apart from the spark, I've touched it against there, then I've turned the ignition on, so as to avoid getting a fucking great spark zap out of me. And we can see that the stereo has now come on. Okay, so I need to route this down the back of there, up through this center console, and then tap it into this wire a bit more safely than what I just did. That was um, that was uh, <laughs> sketchy electronics 101. But you know me, I'm no professional. I'm just uh, just winging it like everyone else. Okay, so I'm basically going to get this down the back there, bring it up through the bottom of this centre console, and out of that gap there. Okay, down here. Oh, it's a bit dark, you can't really see, but down there is a um, another Torx 20 bit, which I've undone, which then allows this uh, centre console side to become a bit more loose, which is then how I've got this wire up and under there. So it's basically gone through the back here, through the back of the uh, radio hole, down the side there, and up through the centre console. Right, so I have um, used junction blocks, snipped the wires, for the uh, cigarette lighter and use junction blocks to connect the ignition power lead. As you'll see I've actually clipped both of the wires. Now that isn't because I've accidentally cut the wrong wire, you'd have to be a complete idiot to do that after you've just mentioned it on a video which wire was which. That's um, for, uh, yeah, for future possible use. Okay so the next job is to put the fascia in. So this fascia panel has uh, some tabs on the back and at the t on the side, the bottom and the top. Um, what I've found is that it didn't quite fit in in one corner. So what I've had to do is just file away a little tiny chunk of the uh, surround here just to allow this tab to get in there and click behind it. So literally I just took off a few mil of the um, off of this surround just to allow that tab to clip in there. And what that has done now is I'm trying to do it one handed. Okay, fascia panel is in. I just had to get a little bit more of um, just a very sharp razor blade just to cut away where that tab goes just a little bit more to get that in and that is in nice and sturdy and pretty flush as well so now we'll move on to the next thing which is to get the cage in and then get the wires out through the cage right so the wires are out through the cage now I'll just slide this in until it clicks in like that uh, now there's a number of little tabs that you can press in on these uh, cages 
depending on uh, on your setup. So I'm going to find a few of these tabs to just push in, and then that will lock the cage in a bit more securely than that. So you can see I've bent in that tab there, that tab there, um, a couple on the sides, same again at the top here, two there and that. There's a lot more sturdy in there. Right, so last thing is to get the stereo in, uh, just by tucking away a lot of these loose cables. Uh, oh yeah, the, um, the radio converter wire that I needed, that's called a Fulker connection, or a folder, I can't remember now, but um, I believe it's called a Fulker. I'm going with that. Fulker connection to normal head unit mail pin and um, yeah so now all of the wires are connected and that's all done I'm just going to put the stereo in until it clicks and there we go we're away so there we go, all installed. Very happy with the way this has turned out. Uh, I do like the look of this fascia a lot more than the big brick of a stereo that Vauxhall decided to put in. I've got this cubby hole in the fascia here which I, I can stop my phone in and then I've got a very small USB cable here which will then go to the uh, USB input there and into my phone in the cubby hole and that way now I can listen to podcasts and charge my phone at the same time which is a good result for me, I'm happy with that and uh, I encourage anyone who's got a Corsa C or a Combo to, to do the same. So I hope I've helped you out or given you some inspiration to get on and do something similar. If I have, please leave me a like down below or a comment and be sure to subscribe for more combo mods and more things coming in the future. Catch you on the next one.